Innovation is the cornerstone of success in America. In order to compete in the global marketplace, businesses and individuals are continuously striving to stay ahead of the game. I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, from emerging technologies and financial strategies to the latest healthcare developments, you would be surprised by the many factors coming into play. Welcome to Today in America. There's a lot of buzz about e-mobility these days. Improving almost daily, this technology has already made its position in our lives. E-mobility is on its way to becoming a major technology. It's also making a splash in the boating industry with the latest in e-mobility solutions from market leader, German company Torquedo. Kevin Losborn of West Marine says electric outboards are the next wave in boating. Today's boaters want to maintain their boating lifestyle, at the same time do their part protecting the environment. They're also concerned about the cost and availability of fuel. The Torquedo travels one of the best selling outboards in its class. It can be easily stored and transported, it's clean and green, and people love it. From my point of view, if you want the coolest small outboard, this is it. Keith Lamar purchased a Torquedo travel electric outboard motor for his day sailor. This Torquedo outboard offers performance comparable to my old gasoline outboard but it's quieter, cleaner, and easier to handle. What I like best about it is the fact that it's got a built-in GPS receiver. This gives me constant speed over ground and range remaining at my current speed. It's easy to disassemble, and I can take the battery off to take it home at night and recharge it. Or I can charge it on 12 volt on the boat or with a solar panel. E-mobility is also making inroads in kayak fishing. Noted author and expert on kayak bass fishing, Chad Hoover uses the Torquedo Ultralight. What I like most about the 403 Ultralight kayak motor is that just over 15 pounds is still a full one horsepower equivalent. With a range of over 15 miles when using conservative settings, it's the ultimate tool for getting kayak fishermen out there to catch them where others can't. Torquedo features a couple of electric outboards that can bring boats into planing for the fun of it. We were going just over 17 miles out there. The twin outboards on that boat produce a 15 horsepower gas equivalent, which is enough to plane a well-designed hull. Most people are very surprised at how powerful these motors are the first time they see them. And they're IP67 waterproof, which means they're great for the saltwater environment. Captain Todd says while the planing tender can be used anywhere, the crew's outboards for remote steering are typically being used on pontoon boats or fishing boats on Green Lakes, where the electric outboard is the one and only option. Although powerful electric propulsion systems are initially more expensive than gasoline outboards, the benefits are many. President of Torquedo North America, Steve Turkla, says the outlook for marine e-mobility looks great. There are a lot of exciting developments taking place. In the near future, you will see stronger electric outboard motors that will be powerful enough to pull a water skier. Lithium battery technology will continue to get more affordable, and with the rising price of gas, I believe electric outboard motors will be more competitive to gas outboards, even in the higher horsepower class. Of course, it's also great for the environment. So we don't have to give up our boating lifestyle, we'll just be boating a little bit different. Faster electric boating is on the horizon, and there is definitely more to come. <laughs>